Oh, so team keep it clean. What a night, man. <laughs> this, was, this was crazy. Um, I did not and do not like it, but I, I do understand it. And what I'm referring to is, of course, uh, the Ravens trading Hollywood to the Cardinals. Y'all know um, Hollywood was my guy. Uh, he was one of my favorite players on the team, uh, especially with him being from South Florida. Uh, but even more than that, just how he, he showed a lot of love to the channel. He showed a lot of love and support uh, to me. Um, and I, I, I really appreciated that because like, this is a starting receiver for my favorite team. And I'm like, he didn't have to do that. He had to do that, but but he did, and he did it consistently, and I really appreciated that about him a lot. Um, but then I appreciated his, his play on the field too. I appreciated the big plays and just how, especially come playoff time, you know Hollywood was going to show up. Uh, but he he wanted out. He wanted out, and him wanting out, it was no surprise. In fact, uh, one of my guys who um, he was close with the, the Ravens, he told me on on March 14th that Hollywood wanted out. Um, so with all this, it didn't really come as a shock, but I still just, I was hoping that all that would die down and it would cool off and like cooler heads would prevail and they would be able to come to some sort of agreement and he could be part of what I would hope would be this offense that's just opening up that much more and he can eat more Bateman, of course, do approach whoever's going to be the other receivers i was just hoping that everything could be reconciled but it didn't and it wasn't i remember um earlier today uh well it'll be yesterday when you're seeing this but earlier today um there were the rumors going around that the ravens were shopping hollywood and i was like man here we go here we go i was hoping that they weren't true but it came from somebody who does have some credibility in past reporting that they've done uh so i was like man so it probably is true but i was just hoping that all right none's gonna go down and then i even remember um i remember thinking like all right if hollywood is traded then we'll know before the draft we'll we'll know before round one tonight because it's not gonna happen during round one it could but i don't think it's gonna happen during round one it'll happen before or not at all. Or maybe on day two or something for a high second round pick. But nope. Nope. It happened tonight. Well, again, when you're seeing this, it'll have been last night. Um, and now he's a Cardinal. Now, we know Hollywood. Um, I know a lot of Ravens fans, they didn't like Hollywood. And then there are a lot of Ravens fans that didn't appreciate Hollywood. Um, Hollywood was a good receiver. He's not a bad receiver at all. Um he did have uh, his drops, but he also had his production. He had his touchdowns. He had his efficiency. Uh, and for him to continue to get better and better and better and produce more and more and more in a run-first offense, because I think that that's something, because a lot of people, they, they look at Hollywood's numbers and whatnot. They compare him to other receivers around the league. And th there are some receivers that are better than Hollywood, of course, and even some that got drafted in the same draft class as him, some that have, that have performed better, there's some that have performed worse. But a lot of people they, they they paint a picture with Hollywood that make oh yeah he he's bad he sucks look at look at all these other receivers numbers in his in his draft class but that's when it's that's why it's very important to take to have context to have context with everything because he was putting up numbers again in a run first offense like Ravens offense is run first they run second run third then they'll, then they'll pass on fourth but they run the ball a lot like we know. So he was steady improving, but that's why I, I understand both sides of this thing. I understand Hollywood's side, why he wanted to be traded, why he wanted just a new opportunity. And then, you, cause you gotta think about the timing of it. We of course all remember the tweet from a couple years ago. Oh, what's the point of having soldiers if you ain't gonna use them? What's the point? So he, he was frustrated with this offense, as we all know. I mean. <laughs> Hollywood's just like any other Ravens fan to be frustrated with the offense. Um, but with his usage, like he just, I think he just wanted to show that he could do more. He wanted to do more. He wanted to be in a, the best situation for him. And in this offense on this team, yeah, he'd be able to eat, 
But if he goes to a passing offense, a pass-first type of offense, he'll be able to eat so much more. And then when you think about the timing, Hollywood's going into his fourth year. And the Ravens, they were before, obviously before the trade, they had, they had a, Monday was a deadline where they would need to pick up his fifth year option. And Eric DaCosta said it earlier, remember, hey, we anticipate picking up Hollywood's fifth year option. Because when we look around the league, we saw these deals for you, did the market for the receivers right now, and having Hollywood at 13 mil, oh, that'd be a steal. But I, like I said, right after that press conference and in other videos also, I said Eric DaCosta, he said that, but actions, we haven't seen any actions that have followed. So and I kept warning people, until we actually get that notification that the Ravens have picked up Hollywood Brown's fifth year option, then all them words mean nothing. And I anticipated them picking up his fifth year option. I was just waiting for it. I figured it would be a formality at this point, but no. Nope. They waited and waited and waited. And then today we, we kept seeing this guy's fifth year option got picked up. That guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. And I'm just sitting in the background just waiting like, hmm, okay. I don't see Hollywood fifth year option get picked up. I'm just waiting though, waiting on that notification. But nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Um, but as far as now that's the Cardinals, they have till Monday to pick it up. But with that, um, just the timing, the timing of Hollywood being traded, he gets traded in a contract year. Reason I say that is because right now he's in the, the last year of his deal. Now, of course, that deal can be extended by a year if the Cardinals pick up the fifth year option. But right now he's in the last year of his deal. It is time to cash out. He has an opportunity to go to a team, again, air raid, we know, but he has an opportunity to go to a team that passes the ball way more than the Ravens. I mean, everybody passes the ball more than the Ravens, but he, he has the opportunity to really shine here. He really does. He, go, he was just playing with his boy, with the Ravens, Lamar. Now he gets to play with his boy in college who helped him become a first-round pick in Kyler Murray. So the chemistry is there already. It's there. They're super tight on and off the field. So it's just going to make everything in his transition that much easier. That much easier. Another thing that's going to make it that much easier for him, and it's something that I was hoping the Ravens, and, and they still can do it, but now the Ravens, maybe they feel like they're going to do addition by subtraction. But we'll see. It's still early. They haven't even got to round two yet. So we'll see how the Ravens replace Hollywood and replenish their wide receivers. We'll see. Um, but Kyler Murray's job, whew, Kyler Murray's job, wow. It's like he doesn't have any excuses. And the Cardinals, they are providing him some weapons. He has DeAndre Hopkins, one of the best receivers in the league. He has A.J. Green, somebody who used to be one of the best receivers in the league. And still, I think he put up like 900 yards last year. Then he gets to a Hollywood Brown added to that. Still has Rondell Moore, Zach Ertz, Max Williams backing him up. <laughs> Filthy. 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 It's like he has an embarrassment of riches, man. Riches. Riches for weapons. So the Cardinals, they, they, they doing their thing over there. They doing their thing. Um, but he's he's in a really good opportunity because especially because of what's around him. So that will allow him to be wide open. That'll allow him to eat that much more. The receivers around him can help him and he can help the receivers that are around him. It goes both ways, man. It goes both ways. So as far as uh the Ravens, hmm. now this again, this to me this can work a bad way and also a good way. The bad way first. Bad way. Because a lot of people, they asked about it during the live stream. Oh, how does, how does this impact Lamar Jackson in the contract? Because you know Lamar didn't like it. You know Lamar knew about it, but he didn't like it. Didn't like it. How will this impact Lamar Jackson in the contract talks? This, this guy, and, and he even, you know, he tweeted about it before. 
when there was some reporter that talked about Hollywood Brown possibly being traded, Lamar said, no, 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 no. No. That's a clean version of what he put. But he didn't want Lamar. I mean, he didn't want Hollywood to be traded. And I can understand why that's his boy. That's his boy. That's his guy. And now your guy, he's gone. And again, he wanted to be gone. He requested to be traded. But still. So, um, the, the a lot of people question, like, well, how would this impact the contract talks for Lamar Jackson? Because the Ravens traded away his guy. Now, initially, I was thinking, oh, yeah, that's, that's not a good look. Because the team that's trying to re-sign Lamar, they traded away his best friend. But then when you got to really think about it, his best friend wanted to leave. His best friend wanted out. So that's not really against the Ravens uh, for Hollywood wanting out. I mean, it's a, it's, it says a lot about their philosophy, like we've been talking about, which, but it's not something where it's like, oh, man, Ra Ravens traded Lamar's best friend. They traded Lamar's best friend. Oh, that's terrible. I mean, I, I, it's, it's terrible to me. I don't like it. But again, I understand why. Because Hollywood wanted to be gone. So Lamar understands that. He probably don't like it. But I'm sure he understands it. Hollywood wanted out. So I don't think that Lamar would hold that against the Ravens because Hollywood wanted out. So when you really think about it, I, I don't think this, and it may have a little bit, but I don't think it has much bearing on Lamar Jackson and his contract. Now, there's been a conversation that some people have been having. Um, oh, well, the Ravens, they should have traded Lamar. I mean, not Lamar, sorry. They should have traded Hollywood. Because the, he don't need, they don't need to pay him $20 million a year. And I know Ravens, they have never really paid a wide receiver big money. They haven't. They offered Torrey Smith, I think they offered him uh, $5 mil per year on a, uh, I think it was a six, or was it six mil per year? And that was back then. So the contracts were obviously way different. But they offered that to him, um, but he ended up going to the 49ers on a deal that was worth either one or two mil per year more than what the Ravens were offering. Um, but, yeah, they and they, they gave Anquan Bolden a, a contract extension when they traded him, but it wasn't like big, big money. But um, Ravens, they, they don't pay wide receivers. It's not something that they do. Whenever they sign a wide receiver, it's usually like a one-year deal. Like last year, Sammy Watkins, one-year, six mil. Um, the Michael Crabtree, when they signed him, it was a three-year, $21 million deal. And it only had seven mil guarantee. So it was really a one-year, seven mil deal. Uh, with John Brown, they signed him to a one-year, five million or six million dollar deal. Uh, with Willie Sneed, he was signed as a restricted free agent. He was signed to an offer sheet of like two years, maybe... How much was it? It wasn't anything crazy. I don't remember what Willie Sneed's contract numbers were. Um, Dez Bryant, he got signed to the practice squad. Uh, so he was dirt cheap, and then they put him on an active roster, so he was still dirt cheap. Um, Seth Roberts was a one-year deal. Uh, oof, I don't even remember how much his was. But, my, but you see my point. They don't pay you wide receivers, but you get what you pay for. And... Being cheap at wide receiver, eventually, you, you are you going to keep running from paying wide receivers forever? Is this going to continue to be a thing? Like, I'm almost scared for what some people will think if Bateman continues to look, if, if, if he continues to develop into something serious. Because Bateman looks like he's going to be nice. He looks like he's going to be a, a really good receiver in this league. So what's going to happen when it's contract time for Rashad Bateman? Are the Ravens going to run from it? Are Ravens fans going to be like, oh, no, we should just don't, don't pay him, dra draft another receiver, replace him? I'm, I'm scared for that <laughs> when and if and when that happens. Hopefully it does happen. Hopefully we get to that point to where Rashad Bateman is like, oh, man, this dude's nice. He's been killing it. Da -da -da -da. But what's going to happen then? But... um. As far as back to Lamar, the how this is bad, like I said, it, it, it just, I think in the back of Lamar's head, it may make him think like, huh, about that offense, about Greg Roman. 
But at the same time, on the flip side, a, a positive about this. Um, we know that with Lamar, it's something we've been talking about all offseason too. Ways that he can improve just by simply spreading the ball out more. If he spread the ball out more, that would help the offense a lot. Because um, a lot of times he will lock on to Mark Andrews, lock on to Hollywood, because those guys have been his biggest playmakers over the years. But now you don't have a Hollywood anymore. And I mean, a lot of people noticed. A lot of people noticed, and they, uh, some people questioned it too. When we see the videos of Lamar Jackson and Rashad Bateman, Lamar Jackson, James Prochet, Lamar Jackson, Benjamin Victor, they're like, hold up. Hollywood is his best friend. Where's Hollywood? Where's Hollywood at? What's Hollywood got going on? Where's he at? And then you'll see videos of Hollywood training so low and be like, huh? Well, nah, it ain't nothing. But then there's some people like, huh? No, that's something. And it ended up being something. Sometimes we say, hey, social media, you, you, sometimes you just never know. You don't want to take it too seriously. But in this case, yeah, for those who took it seriously, good job. You saw it. You saw it. But um, this can uh, this can, this can be big for Lamar Jackson as a quarterback. It can be big for Lamar Jackson's growth as a quarterback because now he one of his sort of safety blankets, one of his crutches is gone. It's gone. So now the chemistry that he's been trying to build up this offseason with a Bateman, with a Prochet, with a Victor, with everybody else, that's going to be so important. It's going to be, his chemistry with just everybody else is going to be so important this season. Because that's going to dictate how the Ravens offense goes. And of course, you know, I got to do a G-Row as well, but if Lamar can get chemistry with these other guys, that can help things a whole lot. A whole lot. So, we'll see how this thing goes. But I am happy for Hollywood. Uh, this was, <laughs> he was ready, man. Again, they said the trade had been agreed upon a couple days ago. Um, that's why when <laughs> Hollywood, he did it like them wrestlers do, man. Where you think they're in one place, but then they end up showing up at another. They said the Cardinals owner, they said that uh, since this trade had been agreed upon already... Um, they said that uh, the Cardinals owner, because Hollywood was in Vegas for the, the 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 game. I think they were doing some little Madden thing, and he was doing autograph signings and all that. So he was in Vegas, but the Cardinals owner went and flew out to Vegas, picked up Hollywood and his girl, flew them back to the Cardinals, and when the trade so the, when the trade was announced, that Hollywood could be there in person, and then they could bring him out. I said, oh, okay. The Cardinals owner must be a fan of WWE or something. With how they, they that's yeah, that that was a that was something right there, man. So yeah, man, I'm I'm gonna be rooting for Hollywood. Y'all already know I will, man, cause that's my guy. Um, I hope he does a phenomenal job out there in Arizona. I know he's gonna do a great job out there in Arizona, cause he is in such a good situation for him. So I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. And again, he's going to a quarterback who he also has plenty of chemistry with. So he, again, he goes from chemistry to chemistry. Chemistry to chemistry. So it should be a very smooth transition uh, for Hollywood. So shout out to him. Happy for him. I'm still rooting for him. Um, and again, I, I hope he does really, really, really well uh, out in Arizona. What if we got a Ravens card in the Super Bowl? That'd be nice. I, I surely wouldn't mind that. But, you know, I wouldn't mind whoever Ravens playing the Super Bowl as long as they got there. But anyway, um, so I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like Hollywood is now officially. And, yeah, no more 2019 wide receivers. Hollywood traded. Miles Boy can cut. No more 2019 wide receivers. So, anyway, just like Hollywood is now officially, we out.